Alright, so I wanted to go over different types of displacement or warping techniques with the displace node and making your maps and all this. So there's like different types of ways the displace warps depending on the map that you have. So let's take the classic just noise map that we have over here where the X offset and the Y offset down so it doesn't move very far or the source footage doesn't move very far and we're just warping the actual image. You can see it does this type of warp and it's just kind of moving. If you look at her like left pupil over here, it's like moving it to the top right and the bottom left depending on which way I choose to do it so it's more like translating certain points of information over two different places on the plane now say let's add a bump map a create bump map and it makes this little normal map that we have here and we go back and then we now do it you can see it's doing it's kind of doing the same thing but it's more stretching it looks like it's stretching it apart from like left to right uh, in that up that, that way and then see let's see what if we take the x and y offset off we can see now we're just moving about just like that just like that same opposite way actually yeah, just kind of things to think about, but also you can change it from say X channel, change it to the green channel, then change it to the red channel. Now you have a different type of warp as well. You see, it's much more wavier, and this is the type of map that I tell you to use with when using a like turbine dis displace because you want that waviness kind of thing that it does. And yeah, you can see like take her like this part of her hair for example. It's kind of like moving around a point a pivot point weirdly enough and that's that's the one you want for like triple displays because you want that waviness but yeah it's just something to think about as well and now we change it back to red and green but now let's change the map to something else let's change what's the map going to be ah the map's going to be the actual source footage itself and so if we bring it back like this you can see right now it's just displacing in different directions and then now if we change the channel so red to green oh right there we go now what is it doing and the, kind of the same thing but i think in a different direction all right, now let's add a creep bump map to that instead. And right now it's going to do that because it's not being blurred or we don't have enough exploit. Oh, here we go. We don't have enough displacement. But now what is this doing? It's kind of doing, I think also like a little bit more of a rotation as well. Like if you look at the clouds and like over here, it's rotating around a point. And that's kind of the way that we were showed over there with this. And then if we change this from red to green, what does this do? Ah, it, it does the opposite where it like it expands the white parts of the images and then now we go back it expands the dark parts of the image so yeah i don't know if this helps at all maybe use this to your advantage when wanting to warp in the way that you want to warp so red over green with a creep bump map you get fat and skinny you're expanding displacement values or luminous values or uh, minimizing them and then green over red you are rotating things in place like that let's, let's take this off the offset see what happens just left and right and then red over green it's the same thing but with offsets they're different all right i just had an idea when i was editing the other one which i basically have this one and then i made the wire fraction uh, the x refraction here then i made the wire fraction be the inverse value of the x refraction now we have this type of work i don't even know what it's doing it's like i think it's going down and it's going up like stretching in different ways or we, we like let's go from green to red and now it's like doing a different type of rotation too i don't know this is just this is just interesting to think about and now let's just take like the, the bump map off and now what oh oh that's kind of that's interesting i think it does like the other way so right before but like left to right the top right now it went from top left to bottom right interesting we take off off x offset yep no it's just going <laughs> any other way okay let's try it with the the noise i guess same thing actually it might be even a better rotation i don't know i'll have to, I'll have to test around with this but let's try the other one yeah kind of similar all right just interesting stuff